All right, guys, we're going to talk about the three types of north real quick. We just finished up doing our land nav class uh, the other weekend, and when we brought up the topic, when we're using a military grid system map, the three types of north that we have to be aware of and how do we work with it. And when I mentioned this, a lot of people's heads exploded. They looked at me like very confused, and they're like, Rich, what do you mean there's more than one type of north? And yes, there is more than one type of north. Do you know what they are? All right, there's three of them. We have true north, magnetic north, and grid north. And this is what they do. So come take a look at this map real quick. If you look here, you'll see on the legend you have true north, grid north, magnetic north. This is calibrated or this is set up in a way that is gonna be specific to that map or region. If we look at this map here, the angle of magnetic north is different, grid north, true north, this is different, but both maps still have those three types of north. So when we're understanding this, this is what we need to know. True north is going to be in reference of from right here, what is the direction to the north pole, right? If we were to look at the top of the world, right, as we have it drawn on a globe, what is the line that takes us up the uh, following the latitude and longitude lines, what's going to take us on that system to the top of the planet as we have it designated? Magnetic north is going to be, well, where's actually the magnetic field pulling our compass? And that does not sit at the North Pole. Although at certain places, so if this is the North Pole, and we're looking at a globe, if this is the North Pole and here's the magnetic field, if you're in the line where the magnetic field is between you and the North Pole, yes, it'll be on the same plane. But in most cases, you're not going to be lined up. So that's why when we see on this map, we have a deviation of two and a half degrees. And then on this map, because these are in different places, we have a deviation of six degrees between our true north and our magnetic north. So... The grid north is now when we take the grid system, when we lay it down on the map, right? That might not line up with the true north because again, depending on where you are in the world, the, the world is not, well, this is arguable if the world's flat or not. We're just gonna say that it's not for the moment of discussion. The world is not flat. So even though you have a flat map, when you take the map and you try to lay it on the world, it's not, it's not exact. It's not an exact square or rectangle when we do so. So our true north line may not line up with our magnetic um, or our, um, our grid north line. So when we come onto this map, what's important to understand is if I'm going to use this compass and I just go and I'm like, okay, well, it says it's north or it says it's, you know, 10 degrees uh, east and that's what I'm going to be walking. If I don't calibrate my compass to what magnetic north is going to have me doing, the movement I make on the map is not going to correlate with the movement I make on the planet. Does that make sense? Because there's deviation between the two. So we can calibrate the map or we need to work in the mathematics within the routes that we're planning to offset for the deviation between the north that is showcased on the map versus the north that the magnetic field is going to pull our compass and guide us to. So if you want to learn more about how all that works, you can join us at one of our courses or you can join us on the Full Spectrum Warrior University where we have a very, very in-depth series that we're just posting now that will walk you through the process of land navigation and orienteering and we'll go into a detailed explanation on how you calibrate your map, how you plot your courses, how you do all this stuff, right? But it's just good to know if you're out there with a map and you're like, well, the map says this is this direction, but it's not calibrated to your magnetic, right? You're not going to be walking on the same line that you believe you're walking on. So check out the Full Spectrum Wear University. Go ahead and sign up and join us on the land nav uh, and orienteering section and learn this skill and tradecraft.